First, we're gonna take out the feet by removing the 12 millimeter bolt. In order to take out the seat, we're gonna slide it backward, not forward. We're gonna disconnect the negative terminal. We're just gonna put the, the bolt back on here just to keep it in position and then and not lose the threaded nut. Next, we're gonna protect the monkey gas tank by putting some masking Just in case we uh, slip when taking any bolts off or just or anything, we don't want to smash any beautiful things. Okay. Gonna add a little bit to the exhaust just to prevent any kind of scratches or mix. Using a JIS Phillips screwdriver made by Vessel, we're gonna remove this screw. Now we're gonna take off this cover by pulling it forward. Here you can see the clips slide backwards, so you have to pull this cover forward to take it off. We'll take off this uh, 10 millimeter bolt. And next we're gonna remove the sparkler cable from the intake. This side is now loose. Alright, we're gonna disconnect the IAT sensor connector. So under the 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 throttle body, there's gonna be a hose clamp that holds the, the rubber coupler of the intake onto the throttle body. This screw is the hardest screw to remove from this insulation. But once you get it loose, you can just connect it. So I wanna loosen this screw and this screw from the frame. Because we loosen the other side, we're able to tilt the air box down, just make some space to fit our tool in. That's the reason why we start on the other side first. Otherwise, this tool might contact the gas tank. Now we're gonna remove these two holes from the air box. This one right here is a vent hose from the gas tank. So if you ever fill the gas tank, it'll just drip down into this hose. We're just gonna pull it off. This hose is actually the breather hose for the from the crankcase. So you just go ahead and pull it off. And now we can remove the air box. Now we're gonna remove the IAT sensor from the factory air box. These screws, we, we know it's no longer needed, so we can put it back onto the air box, so that way we don't lose them. Camera intake, we're gonna remove the IAT screw. You don't have to tang these too much, just a little snug. Should be good enough. First, we want to take the coupler, then reposition the clamp so that way 
you can access it from the other side of the frame. So, I'm gonna fold the, the breather hose up and over, and then I wanna circle it back down to this area. So make sure it touches the frame or it's up against the frame. I'm gonna add some tape to the frame. And tape. Put the breather hose. Pull it out. Put it in the breather tube. Then I'm gonna tuck it upward into the frame. And guide the intake into the coupler. After that, I'm gonna position upward. Tying the post back on the throttle body first. Make sure it's tight. And check to make sure that one's tight. Cool. Section harness. So the male side. Go in, make sure you're doing nice and good. And route it. I put it where once it's on, it's on the bottom, so you can access it from the bottom. Now we're just gonna go over everything. You see this breather hose, make sure there's no kink. Check your positioning, you know. If it touches the frame, you can actually bring it down just a little bit. Make sure there's no clearance, no wires. The wire's not touching anything that could go on the exhaust system. The air tank vent hose. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna put some zip ties around this. We're gonna do our shameless plug. <laughs> 